Hi everyone, it's Michael Citron with the Citron Group at Remax Park Creek. I'm excited, it's Ask Michael Monday time. It's Monday, I hope everybody had a great weekend. It's episode 88, um, so I hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, remember, please like, share, comment. Um, we, we definitely appreciate uh, the audience uh, that we've had for our Ask Michael Monday episodes. We're starting a new series. Um, we really are getting involved in a lot of video marketing for our listings, but we're also doing a lot for what's going on in our city because I really think we need to be connected because we're, I always say we're selling a city, a neighborhood, then the house. So as a local realtor, top agent, and running a great team, we really need to have our pulse not only what's happening on the real estate market, but what's going on in our city. So we're starting a new series called Know Your City, where we're going to go around to each, you know, park, recreation, um, you know, library. Um, so we're here at the library right now, and we wanted to bring up the audience up to speed on what's going on here at the library. A lot of people don't know, you know, taxes passed and obviously the expansion of the library is, is already underway and I've learned a lot just coming in doing a, a little Know Your City video and sitting down here and getting some wealth of information from Joe Green. I appreciate Joe Green. He's the, um, uh, he runs the library here and he's a great guy. We did a, a market update um, seminar here a few years ago and he was amazing and helped and we, we had I think 60 70 people that came to it and it was really informative so I appreciate Joe Green for all his information and keeping me informed on being able to help clients that um, move to our city and want to know about all the great things that the city of Parkland has to offer one is the library so we're here at the library right now as you can see we have a rendering of what the library is going to look like it's a 3.6 million dollar project it's basically merging um, the, uh, a child, a children's library with you know a, an older section of the library and putting them together. So this will actually be opening in the fall. So we're very close here. The ground breaking has already happened. It's you know if you drive by, um, we're right next to uh, City Hall, and you could see the the amazing things that are already getting done here. So the existing library will close after uh, the the um, wing of the of the children's library opens in the fall. So and they will then finish. Uh, in early 2020, the, the whole uh, library. So it's going to expand from 13,000 square feet, which is what it currently is, to over 20,000 square feet. So we're going to get a, a, a much bigger library. And the reason for that expansion is our population has grown. You know, the library has only been in existence since 2003. So it's, it's a very early, not, not a long time ago. And we've uh, obviously, as the city has expanded, we need. Um, more services for our, our young uh, people up to you know our adults and senior citizens that use the library on a regular basis both in in house here as well as online so i'll get into a little bit of the technology uh, um, that, that joe gave me that information on so right now you have a, a population of thirty three thousand people in parkland and that's tripled the population since 2003 when the library opened so obviously there was a need for growth um, the library is an amazing place, but it, it certainly needs um, to be expanded to accommodate all the young children we have, as well as all the uh, residents that are looking to implement um, and use its services. So what, what do you have at the library? Well, you can come here. You certainly can do your homework. Uh, we take our son here once in a while, and he um, you know, gets some information for projects or research projects, and he, and he does study and read. So you, can, uh, you have free access of Wi-Fi. Um, you actually can go and reserve books online, so you can use the online capability and go to cityofparkland.org backslash library. You can reserve and see the whole catalog of, of um, uh, books that you can purchase. Um, you, they have a streaming branch library. Um, Hoopla is the, is the um, system they use. It's an ebook slash audiobook, music. Um, they have 600,000 records, so you can certainly access it pretty much anything, which is amazing. I didn't know about this. And then they have a, another system called the cloud where you can basically access all the best sellers. So you don't have to come to the library. You can just be a resident, log in, and be able to, to get all this wealth of information right online. So the, the, the library has expanded into the technology age, which is what we're in right now. And obviously, um, uh, you know, the children's services is really important. I think that's a real big push that they were able to have its own chi children's wing, which will be its own library, um, so to speak. Um, and that will be great because they have so many events here um, where kids come for story time and, and different summer reading programs and things that you see a lot of the signs on, on the, in the city about different things going on in the library. And I think it's really impactful because the library is here to educate and, and bring a lot of wealth of knowledge to, to the young minds to, to really uh, uh, you know, advance their knowledge of, 
of different books and, and e-books and things. So I, I really think the library is a great place. I don't think as many residents take advantage of it. And I don't think they know of, of, as much of what's going on at the library and its expansion. So it's really important to keep your kids engaged. You know, they're playing Fortnite and they're getting into all these video games and that's great, you know, certainly. But I really think, you know, each resident should take the time out, come by, take a look at the library and see the advancements they're making and go on that website. And you can certainly access a lot of online books and, and you know, really see a lot of things that you can use um, in your daily life. There's also a, um, a, a really important um, a group that's called the Friends of the Library. Um, my sister-in-law Stephanie's been involved in it and we've been involved in it. Um, it's an advocate for raising funds uh, for the library. In 2019, they raised $12,000 and it helps a lot of their classes. So you definitely should look at it. The website's parklandfriends.org. That's parklandfriends.org. We can put that in the comment section. They're actually having an event to raise some money and it's, um, it's kind of a movie night. It's called, uh, they're, they're playing the Gold Finch. And it's twenty dollars per person and fifteen dollars for friends of the family members. And that's that event will be happening September eighteenth. So it's an event to help uh, support the library and support uh, the friends of the library that um, does a lot of help to, to advance the programs and keep them going here as we get this big expansion. So it's important. You know, I, I, I get back to the whole idea of how kids are you know in front of phones now and they're playing video games and playstations and the whole Fortnite thing. And I and I think that's you know, an alternative or, or a reward. Um, we reward our, our, our son for letting him, you know, study hard and do well during the week. And on the weekend, he's allowed to play on his, um, on his PlayStation. But I really think it's important that we engage and, and keep books around and, and have, you know, education is, is really, you know, behind closed doors here in, the, in this library. And you can really access a lot of information. So I thought it'd be good to come here, give you a little bit of information, understand you should definitely check out the library. And getting back to our, our new series that we're looking to, to put together, we've already filmed some episodes. It's really important to know your city, to know about all the great things that are happening um, and all the, all the great you know, parks and recreations. We just did um, a video in front of Barkland and we did one at Liberty Park. Just to know a little bit more about each one of our special things that our, our city works so hard to maintain and offer to our residents. So really what you're getting to be a, a resident here. So I want our, our city, and, I, and I'm taking advantage of it myself by learning so much more and, and getting involved and, and coming to the parks and using the many you know, access things that we have you know, here in Parkland to, to use as a resident or, or somebody who's coming to look to purchase in the city and really learning about it. Because as again, I say, you learn about the city because you're buying a city, a neighborhood, then the lifestyle. So again, we're here at the library. I wanted to do it here so we can kind of learn a little bit more information of what the library has to offer its residents and guests, as well as really to push the uh, Know Our City, Know Your City, which is going to be our Parkland edition uh, of that episode, so you can really get a, a, you know, an inside information. We're going to talk about some history, interview some people, and really get deep into what the, the history of each park and recreation and different things involving everyday um, life of being a Parkland resident, which I think is really cool and interesting. And, you know, I always say we live the uh, live, play and work in the Parkland lifestyle. And, you know, I, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. I hope this is informative. Please bring your kids. Come by yourself. Come to the event. Um, again, here at September 18th, you can call the Parkland Library to register. It would be a cool thing to, to support the charity of the, of the Friends of the Library and uh, take a look at what's going on here. They have all the renderings, all the information. They're so helpful here. And I appreciate Joe uh, giving us this information. And I look forward to doing more events here. We've also uh, used the library to, to implement some of our seminars and have meetings. And it's really open to really uh, help the residents and, and, and have them support uh, the city. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, definitely like, share this, comment. Be on the lookout for our series, uh, Know Your City. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening with your family. And make sure you, ch you check out our, our episode of Ask Michael Monday next week. Thank you so much. Take care.